Hello friends, this is Colby Cajero, the healthy 34-year-old breast cancer survivor. Today is Wednesday, April the 20th, 2022, and it is six days after my fourth chemo session with Taxotere and Cytoxan. So, uh, last night uh, was interrupted by my sleep with, um, with angry bowel movements and also last night um our power went out in the middle of the night so uh the fan that i sleep with uh in my bedroom you know obviously turned off and so i got hot and that woke me up so um i did have a little bit of a challenge falling back asleep after that um but i was able to go back to sleep and i do think that i got you know a pretty decent night's rest and everything and then um when I woke up this morning, I just did not have any energy to do anything at all. Um, just laid around doing absolutely nothing for the first few hours of the morning and then finally decided that I needed to get up and do something with my life. So I got in the gym, I you know rode the bike for 20 minutes and then I also did a lower body workout. But, you know, my body feels really really weak right now um i am definitely not performing at my best and i can tell that my oh my body overall is really exhausted so i just did the best that i could with my workouts you know i just um you know yeah just did the best that i could with um with you know the energy that i had and after that i I uh, went to the grocery store, picked up a few items, and then came back home, and then was exhausted again, all over again. So I just sat in the chair again, recliner, and watched some more Star Wars. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, that was nice. I um, and I did eat all my food today. I did, um, I did drink all my water today. So, you know, I'm hitting those milestones, which is great. I have not needed to take any Zofran today. So I'm really grateful about that. I just feel completely depleted. Um, that's about it. And you know, that's, I mean, obviously it's not as bad as feeling nauseous, but it, 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 it sucks on its own level because there are things that I want to do. There are you know, things around the house that I want to do, but you know, I just like for whatever reason, mentally and physically, they just feel so daunting to me right now. Like they just seem like huge tasks and I know they're not, but right now, like I just, I'm not having it and it sucks that um and it sucks for me mentally because i feel like i'm letting cancer win when i um when i don't do those things and when i um when i don't just say f it and you know do it anyway but you know there comes a point when um sometimes you just have to pull off the gas you know i've i'm finished chemo and I've gotten through, I think, the worst part of the recovery of, um, of recovering from that last chemo session, it feels like. It feels like I'm coming out of it now. And I just, I feel like I've been fighting so long that it's just exhausting. I'm exhausted. And... Yeah, I don't I don't really know how else to describe it. Maybe I'll think of a better way, you know, tomorrow or, you know, in a future video um how to describe what I'm feeling, but I can tell you that fighting this battle is exhausting and I mean, I should be cheering, right? That I'm almost there, I'm almost done, I finished chemo, all that's left is is my final surgery and then, you know, a few years of anti-hormone therapy and, you know, blah, 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 blah. But at some point, I think you just gotta sit back and just say, just collapse mentally, physically, emotionally, 
and I think I'm about at that point. So, um, I have a massage scheduled for Friday, a two hour massage with my, with my guy who's the best. And, um, I'm super looking forward to that. And I'm, I'm hoping that that's what I need to get to realign myself back to where I need to be. Um, so I, yeah, that's about, that's about it for right now. I, um, sorry, my dogs just came in the room. So if you hear them, uh, walking around or, you know, I think Tasha just snorted. So I apologize for that. But, um, but yeah, that's, that's where I'm at with, with this for now. Um, last night, whenever I, um, checked in, I mentioned that I, my, my tongue felt like sandpaper. Counterintuitively enough, um, when I went and brushed my teeth last night and I brushed my tongue, that, um, feeling subsided slightly. So, um, that was a benefit. So like I said, I know it's counterintuitive if you start to feel that way, but, um, but it worked for me. So maybe it'll work for you too. Um, and then, you know, for my mouth does still feel a little bit drier, but not like super dry mouth. I've been using the mouthwash still. So super grateful that those, that whoever invented that mouthwash, thank you. And, um, you know, to my assistant who bought that for me, thank you, Miss Gracie. And, um, you know, just, <sighs> I haven't gotten any mouth sores. I just feel, you know, that my mouth is dry and that I have taste aversion and I just, you know, I'm not, not back to 100% yet there. So, you know, hopefully I won't develop any mouth sores. Again, still using the mouthwash. So again, hopefully the mouth sores won't develop and you know, that'll be, that'll all be okay. So, um, so yeah, that's about it. Like I said, I haven't felt any aches and pains today. It's been more of just physical, mental, emotional exhaustion. So I will keep you posted on how things progress, you know, um, for the rest of the week. Tomorrow is day seven and then Friday I have my last iron infusion. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I did post um, a previous video from mastectomy recovery on my YouTube channel today and I noticed my eyebrows. <laughs> I've never really had thick eyebrows at all, but I, they're definitely thicker than they are now in that video. So, um, so that made me really aware of, um, of the, of me about to be losing my eyebrows. So, uh, we'll just keep an eye on that and <laughs> see how that goes. Hopefully, um, it won't be super obvious. Hopefully we'll still be able to get, you know, uh, do my lashes to kind of hide that. And, you know, we'll just see what happens. You know, I'm going to keep checking in and, and, you know, just letting you guys know what's going on. So, um, my dental fun fact for today is that uh, the only facial bone that connects the face to the cranium is the maxilla, the upper jaw. So, um, so I don't know why you would ever want to know that, but it's a fun fact. You know, um, it's a bone of the face that um, that is connected to the skull base. So that's super cool. Um, the scripture we're going to read from today is um, God's Purpose for Your Life by Charles Stanley. And our message today is titled, In Control. And the past, the scripture is from Proverbs 16, 9. It says, The mind of man plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. And the passage says, Stop to consider the truth of these statements. You cannot make another person love you. You cannot always have your way in every situation. You cannot own everything you want to. You cannot do everything perfectly every time. You cannot persuade everybody to think the way you do. If we are honest with ourselves, we will admit we don't like the fact that we can't control these things. But here's the good news. God is in complete control. He alone is omniscient, omnipresent, and omnipotent or omnipotent. I'm not actually sure how to say the word. He alone rules all creation and he loves you so much that he always brings good out of everything you face. So when someone doesn't love you or think like you do, 
When you don't get your way, when you don't own something or do a task perfectly, you can take heart. It's okay because your God is still in charge and he is working everything for your good. And the prayer for this passage today says, Jesus, I will praise you in my setbacks, losses, and lack of control. My life is in your hands and I trust you with it. Amen. I like this passage because it just reminds me of how much God loves me and how much he will bring good out of everything. Not just our cancer struggle, but, you know, with our relationships with people and, you know, with, with our own date, our own fate and destiny. Um, and I'm a perfectionist and a type A personality. So, you know, not doing everything perfectly every time, like that is a challenge for me. But I know that every opportunity like that is a lesson from God that he is giving me an opportunity to try to trust him and, um, and lean on him for strength and not on my own. So that's all I have today. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will check back with you tomorrow for day seven post-chemo session number four. Thanks so much. Take care.